obviously a ton of speculation on the number four pick of the draft. You're not going to divulge, and nor would we want you to divulge you were going to take it number four. But there's a lot of conversation about probably the number one position uh, on on any football team, and that's the quarterback position. You're blessed to have arguably a, a Hall of Famer on your football team, but there is a future to look to. So uh, that being said, why uh, you were at Trevor Lawrence's workout, there's some comments. I know you've talked about how you want to be at these different quarterbacks. Why is it important for you to see all these quarterbacks go work out in person? Yeah, that's, that's critical because that's a position that regardless of where you are at, at, at your starter, we know exactly, we're so excited about Matt Ryan, but we have to evaluate every one of these quarterbacks not just for now, when you think big picture, if you have an opportunity, like for example, Trevor Lawrence, when you have an opportunity to see that player in person throw, then you have to take advantage of that. Even if you're not gonna have an opportunity at him this year, you, you don't know what's gonna happen three, four, five years from now in the future. So you wanna take advantage of that in-person exposure. And that's why we see every single one of these quarterbacks. Like we, we wanna, as much as we can, get to them, see them in person and just take advantage of those exposures because it's, it's the most critical position in the NFL and we want to stack good quarterbacks. It, it's a prime time to do it when you have a player like Matt Ryan because when you can get in the right quarterback, you don't have that pressure to play him right away. You don't have, so it opens up so many possibilities and we have to make sure we're evaluating the, those positions and we feel good about where we are there.